By the 19th century, most of the world was already mapped. However, the quest for the mapping of the Northwest Passage has long captivated explorers and nations alike. In 1845, Britain launched its most ambitious expedition to discover this elusive sea route. Led by Sir John Franklin, two ships and 129 men sailed into the frozen Canadian Arctic, never to return. Their disappearance sparked one of the largest search operations in history and remained a mystery for over 150 years. This is the historiographer, and in this video, we will discover the story of Franklin's lost expedition, a tale of ambition, endurance, and tragedy in one of the world's most unforgiving environments. In May of 1845, HMS Erebus and HMS Terror set sail from England. Sir John Franklin, despite his age and previous failures, was chosen to lead the expedition. The Erebus and Terror were marvels of their time. Their hulls were reinforced for ice breaking, and they were equipped with steam engines, retractable propellers, and even an early camera. The expedition carried 12,000 books, a variety of scientific instruments, and three years worth of provisions. However, hidden within these innovations lurked deadly flaws. The 16,000 food cans were improperly sealed, introducing lead and potential lead poisoning. To add insult to injury, the water desalination equipment was contaminated with lead and the steam engines, while innovative, were woefully underprepared for the brutal Arctic ice. After crossing the Atlantic and setting dock in Greenland, the expedition made initial progress, navigating around Cornwallis Island in northern Canada before wintering at Beachy Island from 1845 to 46. Here, the first casualties occurred. Three crewmen were buried their deaths likely due to pneumonia exacerbated by lead poisoning. By September of 1846, the two ships found themselves trapped in the merciless ice near King William Island. As the months dragged on, disease, malnutrition, and the insidious effects of lead poisoning began to take their toll. The crew faced not only the physical challenges of the Arctic, but also the psychological strain of isolation and endless darkness. By June of 1847, Sir John Franklin was dead, and in April of the next year, with dwindling supplies and no hopes of rescue, the surviving 105 crew members abandoned their ships. They set out on a desperate 240 km trek across the frozen wasteland, dragging heavy lifeboats behind them. It was a journey that would push them to the very limits of human endurance, with many succumbing to the harsh conditions along the way. The crew split into smaller groups, some returning to the ships, while others pressed on southward, hoping to reach one of the Hudson's Bay Company's trading outposts. As years passed with no word from the expedition, Lady Franklin tirelessly campaigned for search parties to be sent. The Admiralty and private expeditions launched numerous rescue attempts, some of which ended up in peril themselves. The HMS investigator, searching for Franklin, ironically became the first ship to traverse the Northwest Passage. In 1850, the first traces of the expedition were found, the graves off of Beachy Island. This discovery only intensified the search efforts. It wasn't until 1859 that the first concrete evidence of the expedition's fate was found, a stack containing a grim message of abandonment and death. As more evidence came to light, including Inuit testimonies long disbelieved by Victorian society, a horrifying picture emerged. The Inuit spoke of seeing groups of starving men and even witnessing acts of cannibalism. In 1993, the expedition's final camp was discovered on King William Island, revealing thorough forensic evidence which proved that some crew members had indeed resorted to cannibalism during their final desperate days. The story didn't end there, as in 2014, the wreck of HMS Erebus was discovered off Queen Mo Gulf, followed by the discovery of HMS Terror in 2016 in Terror Bay, a location that eerily matched its name. Both ships were found to be remarkably well preserved in their icy tombs. As archaeological work continues, more secrets are yet to emerge. In short, while the Franklin expedition failed in its primary mission, the search for the lost expedition ironically led to the mapping of much of the Canadian Arctic. The story of these men, their bravery, and their tragic end remains a crucial chapter in the annals of Arctic exploration. If you like this video, then consider subscribing to spread history. This has been the historiographer, and for now, see you in the next video.